What's up folks? I am Josh Harris. I own Summer Cycle Bike Shop in Somerset, Kentucky. Today I'm just outside the super cool town of Berea, Kentucky. I'm at their new mountain bike trails. When I found out that Berea was building mountain biking trails, I was super excited. Where I stand is only about 45 minutes from my shop in Somerset. But when I found out that the trail builder is the Andrew Parson, my stoke level went up exponentially. Andrew was directly responsible for much of the mountain bike goodness that you will find at our very own Pulaski County Park. We have some amazing mountain bike trails, much in part thanks to his awesome trail building skills. And so I knew he has a very progressive mind when it comes to building trails that are fun and progressive and that can be enjoyed by a lot of folks. He was gracious enough to invite me over to sort of pre-ride and preview these trails so that I can share it with you guys and sort of build the stoke and the hype around these trails. So we are privileged to have out here with us today the mayor of Berea himself. This is Mayor Bruce Fraley. Mayor, really appreciate you coming out to speak with us today. Thanks, I appreciate you guys being here to share the excitement with us. There are a lot of people in Berea that are excited about it, including myself and our city council and our tourism commission, but we're also getting a lot of buzz from around central Kentucky and beyond on people that are really anticipating the opening of this bike park. We're really pleased with where we are right now and looking forward to what this can do for everyone. So one of the, the main questions that I wanted to sort of inquire of you is what was the mindset of the city of Berea in getting this project pushed through and now almost to completion? Sure, well it's it was kind of a long time coming really. I've been mayor for about two and a half years now and was served on the city council two years before that and during my time on council I engaged really closely with some folks at Berea College, Dr. Peter Hackbert. He's a mountain biker and a trail runner. Dr. Louisa Summers is also an adventure person. And one of the things that Dr. Hackbert had shared with me was data about mountain biking and trail running in particular and how that was a growing activity throughout the United States, but in particular here in Kentucky. He mentioned how as far as for health and human performance, staying in shape, it's good for your local folks. It's also something that brings people to town. People like yourself like to mountain bike and you usually come with a crew. So we're, we're pretty excited about that and started looking into the whole process. This park is actually on the fringe of our Berea Industrial Park. Councilman Steve Codlin and I came out and actually walked the entire industrial property. And what we noticed, especially in this area when you get closer to Silver Creek, that we had a lot of ridges and valleys and it wasn't real flat land and it's probably not suitable for industrial development. So putting together what I had learned from Dr. Hackbird and my ideas about we need to do something with adventure tourism and with mountain biking and trail running and knowing that we needed to do something with the property that the city, really the citizens own uh, to make it usable and to do something productive with it, those kind of things just kind of came together. As we looked into it and we, we had an idea about where we wanted to go here, Tom Moreland, that's our uh, GIS director with Steve Codlum, it's a city councilman for the city of Berea, and also Jason Coombs, that's a mountain biker and a friend of Steve's. We made a trip down to Prestonsburg where they have sugar camp. I have a cousin that designed a lot of those courses, Tim Branham, that has Lizzie Bees in Prestonsburg, and also Les Stapleton, that's the mayor there, was my mentor when I became a mayor, so he's like, Man, if you want to do mountain biking, you need to come down and see what we've got. And theirs is very impressive. It is a really neat place. Yeah, all those things came together and we settled on this site after walking it with several people from the city of Berea and also Kimba. We looked at this and thought it was a real suitable site. I can't wait. I can't wait to see it get opened up. I think there's a lot of excitement here. Well, it's exciting for us to see you excited. I think you touched on, you know, it's, there's kind of a duality there of really having something great for your local citizens of Bria. There's all the potential in the world. I know my wife and I have traveled all over the United States and most of our vacations revolve around finding mountain bike destinations. And certainly I think at, at the outset, you've got the potential here to be able to draw a big regional crowd in the recruitment of young professionals. I'm sure any municipality has a keen interest in being able to recruit and retain professional people. And if you have mountain bike trails, that's just another notch in the belt, so to speak, for you to be able to offer an engineer that happens to be a mountain biker. Exactly, and I, and I do think that this will be a quality of life improvement for the citizens that are here, and that's one thing as a mayor that I really wanted to do, and I think that our council and our tourism commission want to do, 
is to be able to invest in ways that benefit the citizens that are here and provide more recreational opportunities while also bringing people to town and helping people discover Berea. We're, yep. we're known as the arts and crafts capital of Kentucky, but we are and we want to be so much more. Uh, we're, we're close, we're right on I-75, very easy to get to, and it's a, it's a beautiful town. We want to share our town with folks from out of town, whether it's in the surrounding county or in western Kentucky or eastern Kentucky or from out of state. So we're eager to, to bring those folks down, and I invite everybody to come. As we looked at how we wanted to construct a mountain bike course, we really felt like we wanted to do it right. If we we're going to make the investment, which about half of this park will be paid for by tourism funds from the Tourism Commission, and about half of that of our general fund, which is uh, what the citizens pay their taxes into and expect services in return. So again, a good recreational opportunity for local folks while also bringing people to town. But we wanted to do it right. Instead of doing something on our own, we did put out a request for, for proposals. Uh, we got several back and we ended up going with Parsons Consulting out of Greensburg. And Andrew has been hands-on. He's been really engaged with our guys at No Mountain Biking. He's been engaged with them about what they want and the design. And, and we think that having this professionally designed will be doing it right the first time and that we can build on that. Uh, we have about 400 industrial acres here as part of our industrial park, but in this area, you wouldn't think it's part of an industrial park because it's so beautiful. We're looking forward to being able to showcase this region and really open some of the industrial park up that wasn't suitable for development for industrial purposes to open that up for recreation. And we think that that's a good way to be a good steward of the public trust. I feel like we're yeah. going in the right direction on this and, uh, and I, I really look for it to expand. There's about three and a half miles of trail altogether on this one. But I would love to see within the next year or two, truthfully, once we can get this designed and open and learn from it, we have a, a real pretty, what, what I call a creek bottom uh, that runs along Silver Creek. And now on the opposite side of our industrial park, we have some more land that's really not suitable for industry. To me, this is a good way where industry, education, residential, recreational, they all come together in one place and they can all work together and coexist. You mentioned a moment ago about the sort of health benefits that can be gleaned, especially from the people of Berea, anybody that wants to take an interest in mountain biking. I'm actually a physical therapist. Unfortunately, I work with a lot of people that have ailments that come from inactivity. And so right. to me, having yet another activity to be able to add any single person that gets into mountain biking, that's one more person that's probably going to be more inclined to stay in the workforce because they're going to avoid those issues that come from, from being inactive. It's a great way to, to be motivated to exercise. You can come out, you can mountain bike, you can get in all sorts of exercise and not really feel like you've exercised because it's fun. Right. As a, as a guy that's in his late 50s and hoping to live a little longer, I did commit. I'm not a mountain biker, but I'm committed to do that and to learn with Steve and Jason and Tom. The young guys, they tell me that they're going to teach me how to mountain bike. One other thing that I want to mention, and I give uh, Steve Cottle credit for this, he talked about doing a pump track. And the way he described it to me, it's the way you learn to mountain bike. Whether you're a person that's my age and you're just getting into it, or whether you have a six, seven, or eight-year-old son or daughter or grandchild that you want to get into mountain bike, and you can do that, which is right behind it. So we hope that this is something that people can do and come in on the entry level and then get up on the trails with the single ascent. And I think there are three downhill trails yep. uh, that are a little more advanced, but I think there'll be something here for everybody. But your point's well taken, that it is something that, that can get us off the couch and get back in shape. Absolutely. I think that he's built a lot of what we commonly refer to in the mountain biking world as progression. Right. You're going to have the pump track, and you'll see adults and kids on that alike, and then you'll have kind of a progression of trails. I think he's got a green trail built, and so that's gonna be for someone that's just trying to get their feet wet, but I think it's still gonna be a really fun trail, and then you can kind of work up from there. And happy to hear that there's maybe the thought of, of some expansion down the road. You know, that, That's that, on my mind. I can see us in the fairly short term trying to create more recreation opportunities here. If we can't put industry here, I think it's a good decision to create recreational opportunities, but we do have eyes of, ex of expanding uh, recreational opportunities of all sorts, including additional mountain bike trails. Mayor, I really appreciate you coming out here. I'm sure you have a quite busy schedule. I think you're taking the time to come out here and meet with us today just as a testament to your commitment to these trails and, and what you're trying to do out here, and so we really appreciate that. And I, I just personally want to commend you for what I perceive to be a very forward-thinking project here, and I'm, I'm really well, excited you. to see see it all come to completion. Yeah, and, I, and I'm glad to be here. This is important. It's, uh, it's important to our city. It's important to Central Kentucky. 
It's important to people that mountain bike to have opportunities like this. We're really looking forward to it, and I appreciate you guys coming out. This was important for me to come, and, and again, we're all in. We're ready to go. So awesome. I appreciate it, man. All right. All right. Thank you. You guys, you guys have to come back and bring your friends. We'll, we'll definitely be back. All right. Thank you.